Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of solving data problems. This is standard 5.9c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 30 of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a stem and leaf plot showing the number of books checked out of a library each hour on a Saturday and the total number of books that were checked out on Saturday. All right. So we've got to do something with this data here. Let's open up our graph draw feature, increase the transparency here so we can see what's going on behind there. All right. So always first check this key right here. The two slash one means 21. That's typically how these go. So really what we're looking at is place value, right? So the stem is going to be like the tens place. And this is going to be like the ones place. Now, let's take these numbers out one at a time, right? So I've got a one slash zero. So that's just going to be 10. And then I've got a one slash five. Always bring the stem and then add it to one of the leaves. So one, five, well, that's just 15. Just builds a number. And then 1, 6 is going to be 16. And what I'm going to do is rather than doing a big, long chunk of numbers, that tends to uh, make me mess up every once in a while. That's a lot of numbers to add together. I'm going to, I'm going to add it in three small chunks and then add those chunks again. I'm going to get some partial sums because if I add uh, all eight of those numbers together, I might make a mistake. So that's going to be 11, 6, and 5. And there we go, 41. Okay, so that row is 41. All right, so let's do this next row. So I've got my 2 and my 1. All right, so that's 21. So we're just building numbers. I've got 24. Actually, I've got two different 24s. Now you might be thinking, why would we even use a similar leaf plot? Well, if we're repeating a lot of numbers within the same uh, set of tens, right? It's it's a lot easier to write the two once and then just write a one, four, four rather than 21, 24, 24. You end up repeating the digit two. So it's a little bit cleaner. That's one reason why we use the stem and leaf plot. Also, it kind of shows how many are within that band visually. All right, so one, four, four. Let me see. So I've got one and four is five. Five and four is nine. And then I've got Six. Okay. Let's do this last one. Should be pretty easy. Three and two. Thirty-two. Three and five. All right. So that's going to be sixty-seven. Forty-one. Sixty-nine. Sixty-seven. None of those answers are there. None of those answers should be there. Because remember, I was just doing some partial sums. So let's just add these three, 41, 69, 67. All right, so that's going to be 10, 17, uh, 10, 17, 177. All right, so I see C. Now, what happens if I decided not to do that? Well, I could do this, but watch what happens. Let me write all these numbers down. 10, 15, 16, 21, 24, 24, 32, 35. So if you do want to do it like this, I would suggest rather than just going up and down, I always look for tens, right? Look for ten. So five and five, make a ten. Six and four, make twenty. And now I've got 21, 25, 27. Uh, and so I always find that to be uh, just a little bit easier. All right, so now I've got, now I just need to add up and down. 10 is going to be a little bit hard. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, 17. So you get the same answer. It, there's just a lot more chances to kind of mess up. There's a lot of numbers to add at once. So our answer here is going to be C, 177.